What's up, food lovers? It is Jay Spice Films of Food here, and today I'm really excited. We're going to be doing our second fast food review. Finally getting to it. And this one, I believe I've been waiting for since August, I think. We got the Burger King Impossible Whopper. It's not vegan, it's vegetarian, you know, because they got estrogen, and they probably cook it on the same grill as the regular Whopper. But also, we're going to be trying out these. These are the jalapeno cheddar bites. We just got the four piece. And, you know what, actually, I'm doing this off the fly here, got my phone out now, we're going to look up, oh, did my phone die? <laughs> Never mind, I think my phone died, so we can't look up when the Whopper released. So, we are just going to get right into this. I didn't get a drink, although I do have the fries. Because I let my mom have the drink because I'm a nice guy, you know. So, got it right here. There's the nice packaging. And it shows basically everything that's on here. But I ordered it without tomato, you know. Just because I don't like it. So, let's see. This thing is looking huge. Make sure. And they don't have tomato on it. So, there's the close-up. I'll just take that off. There's a nice patty, you got some, or the bun, there's a patty, and that definitely does look like meat, you got <coughs> pickles, onions, and lettuce, and ketchup, and mayo, so all the classic Whopper ingredients, let's just go right into this. I'm actually going to just tear off a piece of the meat right here just to taste it by itself. Because, you know, it's going to taste more like a Whopper when there's all the ingredients, but... I'm just going to try to eat this whole side right here. Then we go on to the verdict. One more. I'm gonna wash that down with my favorite brand, not sponsored. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Is it weird if I say I like this more than the regular Whopper? Cause I do. You know, it's got that really good flame grilled taste all the ingredients mix in well with it it definitely tastes like a whopper i think this is better than the regular one to be honest it's just like it's a really good replication there you know look at that oh god there you go i feel like it has a better taste than the actual <laughs> meat at burger king i'm gonna give this a but still, there's other burgers I like more. I'm going to give it a solid 8 out of 10. And now pushing that off to the side. I'm going to get the jalapeno cheddar bites in here. Let's see if we can get a shot of those in the bag. There we go. And we're going to get this one because it has the, the cheese on the outside. I'm trying to line it up with the webcam. It has the cheese on the outside. It's a four piece. There's the inside there for you. See the jalapeno.
Those are nice. I think they used to be on the menu, but they just brought them back recently. If I remember correctly. Uh, it's very mild. This isn't like a very spicy snack. And uh, the cheese is nice and creamy. Kind of tastes like, like mac and cheese type cheese. And yeah, they're decent. The breading is nice. It's just, uh, I don't think it'd be my go-to. Probably go for nuggets over that, but solid. I'll give it a, I'm going to give the jalapeno tender bites a 7 out of 10. And that's going to be it. I was really surprised with that. And now, for the 2019 fast food, all I need is the Popeye's chicken sandwich for the big items. It was that and the Impossible Whopper, so... I'm gonna get one more bite on camera. <laughs> Just, we're gonna get that one with all the ketchup and mayo on it. <laughs> Almost put it in the bag. <laughs> Go try that, please. <laughs> Just please try that. And you can try these if you want to. It's in the nugget bag. But you know what they are. So yeah, the jalapeno cheddar bites get a 7. Possible Whopper gets an 8. And that's going to be it for today. So, for now, this is Jade Spice Films and Food. And I'm saying bye. Bye.